Yeah. Is there something you think most people will not know about you? Like oh. for example, the last time I came, mm. you were talking about NBA. I was like, wow. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You know things like that. Like, I, like that. I I love yeah. NBA very much. You know. Yeah. But when I was young, mostly entire youth period, I played as a midfielder most times, especially like for my club. Kaki Bukit, my first club, and then I played for the Lion City Cup. Most of the time, I play defensive midfield. I always play in the center, holding players, you know. And I was uh, uh, more defensive and very aggressive that time. So uh, when uh, I started to play as a striker, is that was my first sea games. We played a few games. I think two, three games. After that, we we had. Uh, too many injuries, and I think that coach was Jita Singh at the time. He asked me, "Hey, Fandi, can you play as a striker?" I said, "Can, I don't mind." You, okay, you partner Ashad Kamis, you know the legend Ashad Kamis, you know. I say I can. So we play against Myan, uh, not Myanmar. Last time was uh, Burma, Burma, Burma. They call it Burma. So I say, "Okay, coach, I will play." And then uh, I remember. Uh, I believe I can jump very high. So on that day, uh, I can't remember who the keeper was. Was was it Edmund or Chuping? So he he kicked the ball, drop kick, about three quarter pitch. You know, further more than the the circle lah. Eh? So the three quarter pitch, and then I went up high. I knocked down about thirty thirty five meters. I knocked down. I mean, I knocked down and thirty five meters. Ashad Kamis came and really volleyed slam. Roof, top of the corner. That was I was so happy. Then I realized, eh, hey, not bad. I play this striker. I realized. So, uh, but in 1978, uh, I went to Russia with the national team, lah. You know, the second national team, and then uh, was coached by Sebastian Yar. So I was selected with uh, uh, the late uh, Razali, who played with me in the Lion City Cup in the same team, and then the, we are the only two that. Got selected, uh, so we had a chance to play in Russia. It was great. I was my dream, you know, my dream. I think people know my dream is always to go on the flight, and then I want to wear the Singapore colors, the, the Sea Games. So I, I got a breakthrough for the 1979 Sea Games. So when we were there, when we were there, uh, we we trained with our coaches, but uh, supervised by the Russian uh, coaches and all. They see how we, you know, and then uh, very interestingly. Uh, that time in the 60s, 70s, or something like that, they have the best uh, goalkeeper. And he came and he coached, uh, helped uh, to coach our goalkeeper. Wow, our goalkeeper was so proud. And you know, the number one, he used to be the number one in the world before. So uh, we played the first game, I think in Odessa against the army team. I think we lost 2 0. Full house, 20, 30,000, I can't remember. But I managed to get a chance to play, you know, for, as a 16 year old. Uh, I think I came in last 20 minutes, and then the next game we played the Russian youth, under 23 or something. Uh, the coach started me, and I was still playing in midfield. I was surprised I scored two goals, <laughs> and I out jumped the Russian six footer and score header. One was a header, and then, then I equalized the last minute. So you you you, you travel a lot uh, over the years, right? Uh, yeah. I mean, like, is there a particular country you always remember, like? It was a very special you know, experience for you. Oh uh, yes, uh, I had a trial uh, sponsored by Swarovski, the glasses. Yes. Uh, so they sent me, I went for a trial with FC Tirol. FC Tirol is one of the famous team. Guess what, who I met there, all the famous footballers from Germany. Hansi Muller, you heard of Hansi Muller in the 70s, early 80s, very good player. And he was playing there, Bruno Petzai, who is, uh, I think he's Austrian, played in Germany. I've been very lucky eh, throughout my career. I've get, uh, I've been under so many world-renowned, uh, known coach, you know, uh, Ernest Happel. If you see, try to Google his name, they have a, they have a stadium, Ernest Happel. He's a fantastic, and Keegan played for Hamburg. And when they won the, I think, European Cup or something. Uh, is that, was there a player that you kind of model, or maybe a few players that you model? Okay, when I was younger, my idol is Johan Cruyff. Yeah. 
the one and only because I watch him and then I used to wear number number 14. Yeah. Before uh, anything for national team, I've I've won 12, 14, 3, 17. Okay, okay. Four numbers. Yeah. So I like uh, cry. Yeah. The world is so small. Yeah. I met him in in, in, in Amsterdam yeah, 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 and then yeah, yeah, he was yeah. one of my mentors oh, there, wow, you know? Yeah. yeah. Amazing. After many years, more than 25 years, you know. Then I was coaching in Johor, JDT or Johor FA before. And then there's a ceremony, they opening one of the institute there. He was one of the VIPs. Wow. And and then during the dignitaries all day, a lot of people there, the Sultan and the Datos and all. I was uh, taking these young boys, uh, so I was standing then suddenly, he saw me. <laughs> he saw me and he said, Hey, Brownie, and he came, he hugged me. And then, then TMJ, the, the Sultan also, How come this fellow, uh, he knows what me? <laughs> I, then the history. Uh, so, I mean, I enjoy the time. It's, uh, it's really a good memory for me during this period. It was really interesting, actually. Uh, I, I should get to the question, too, but like, that you made that positional change uh, because, uh, I mean, watching, as someone watching you grow up, uh, the scoring technique is is very rare, yeah. very precise. Yeah. So uh, honestly, that was a fun fact for me. I didn't know you started as a defensive mid. Like. So you know, it's a completely different skill set. Like. Yes, yes, yeah. Is yeah. A lot of stamina, but yeah. there's so much on technique. So how, how did you, I, I don't know, man, how did you hold that position? I do, yeah, I, when I was younger, my father coached me to uh, practice. Important is technique, accuracy then come power. So when I was young, uh, we used to put sleepers like one feet, two feet apart, another 10 meters away. So he asked me every day I do passing, left, right, left. Just push the ball as if you score. But actually it's a technique that makes you right. If you turn a bit your, your ankle leg like here and then your body, your shoulder, you turn, the ball will follow. Eh? But if you go shooting, you bend forward, you shoot drive, the ball goes straight down. But if you shoot, you bend backwards, where the ball go? Over. <laughs> Rugby. <laughs> so, this is how I learn. And then I practice it on the wall. I hit the wall, I control. Hit the wall, I control with my chest. Last time, I remember, I had the best, uh, you know, when chesting the ball, I love chest the ball here, and then I volley. So, because also, I'm quite flexible when I was younger. I play a lot of uh, chapte, you know? Chapte, sepak takraw, oh, cross. Yeah, sure, yeah. I, I like uh, skipping, okay. I like jumping. That's why I practice my jumping. And at Jalan Besar Stadium last time, we have the pendulum. We got two sides. So we swing the ball and then we come and jump. So, so and then weight training, you jump with the weight. And... Uh, I mean, okay, this is not in the question, but I always I found it very amazing that the, your, your heading, right? It's something like, it defies physics like that. The ball can come like that. How, how, how do you hit with so much power? You know? Because yeah. uh, of the training, because I used to do a lot of strength training, upper body strength, jumping, especially last time I got good leap. Yeah? Especially when I came back from Holland, even better. Before that, I was quite good. Because when I started playing first in the national team, uh, the first year, I played for uh, the Malaysia Cup. Eh? 79, I scored four goals. I think I scored two or three headers. Coming from the back, because when I started playing as a midfield, when I young, I was playing defensive. But when last time our uh, formation was 4-3-3, okay. I always sit. But now, when national team, I play on the left. So I got chance to attack. And then I come from the blind side, I always jump. And that's the technique. A lot of my players, they know what I do. So sometimes you jump first and then when the fellow go up, you just press. See, this is the shoulder. So that's a technique. But you need to exercise to be strong on your, is right, the right. thigh muscle and your neck muscle, your trunk. It's all about training. And I always repeat my, my training, you know. My technical ability can get better, you know. Uh, also hitting the ball on the wall to control also help you with the technique. All ball come too fast, then you can chase, you can control. So I think practice, practice doesn't make you perfect. Practice correctly makes you perfect. People say practice, I say no. 
if you practice but it's not correct you can't perfect it in a real game because under pressure people put pressure on you and the ball come different pace so important the, the players must know how to be better was there a way you cope with the pressure for big ah. matches because sometimes you only get that one chance the ball yeah comes correct to you true and yeah you know, Fatih, what you growing up you, you always deliver la. yeah you know, so how, how, how did you do that so first and foremost, uh, for me, uh, my thing is I always visualize a day before the game. So how I want to play against it, it defender, B defender who's marking you. Because if you play as a front line, you must be able to take their nonsense. Lah. They will kick you, they will irritate you, they will say all vulgarity. And for me, Trash when talk, I was trash yeah talk, trash talk yeah. lah, you know last time ah huh? trash yeah, talk. Yeah, yeah. So but when I was young, I was in midfield. I play like that. The same. I kick, I kick. I, I just to irritate. But the same. So when when I moved to a striker, I learned. I got to be calm, patient, take my time, study them. Because if I get emotional, they want me to get the red card. So they will kick you. Last time tackle behind. I tell you the elbow, no red card all. So you need to be patient, especially when I was playing in the Indonesian League. My God, you, I can't believe it. How they play, they were really whack. The referee say, play on. Elbow, then they will scare you, you know. So you need to be really uh, calm, composed, and important, you take your time. Sometimes you be nice to them, talk to them suddenly, but I always do my, my thing. I got my own trick, I got a bit cheat here, a cheat there. But you, got, you got to be smart. As a striker, you got to be creative. Midfield, you got to be creative. If not, there's no opening. Because you're not playing for yourself, you got to play for your team. You need to open up space to create space for your teammate and for yourself. Because everything, the ball will come to you. That's why I always have that good eye contact with my teammate. They know what ball I want. Even sometimes the ball is not so good, I will make it better for them because I will tr strive and hard to jump to knock back for our teammate. So Malik with me co uh, combination is good. Uh, before when I was playing Kekanan as well, he knows how I move. I know how he moves. And then Malik will send the ball, I know where. So very important is the understanding. But you must have confidence in yourself. But you cannot be afraid of the fella come, hey, I'm going to kill you. Eh? You just relax. Eh? Just, you know, don't say anything. You enjoy the game, but suddenly, pop, go. I might not play 18 minutes, 10 minutes. You give me two chances, I put two goals. That's important. Yeah. And then, yeah. Silence, brother. Yeah. After that, thank you very much. And also, like uh, apart from the opponent, the the, the crowd, uh, the atmosphere, yeah. you know, especially you know you have played in uh, I mean, now it's great, lah. Yeah. Cheering, you also stressful, I think. Yes, like, yes. Uh, different kind of stress, lah. Like, yeah. Over you know, overseas, where the crowd is very hostile, right? Yeah. How how do you? Or maybe you don't feel it at all. I don't know. How, how do you? No, no. It? I like the crowd. Yeah. Because <laughs> if there's no crowd, I cannot entertain. <laughs> I like entertainment because. You know, when you as a player, when you, you are entertainer, you come to the stadium or uh, in an auditorium where you concert, you need crowd. So when inspire, but it inspire me inside, but I don't show. When I go, people will say, hey, how come you so calm? Huh? A lot of people ask me, how come people wear you, you steady me? That just look and walk away. I never argue, never. You know, rarely, rarely. Huh? You never see me angry because I know I want to focus on my game. Because once I get uh, react to their their uh, tactics, bad tactics. You cannot concentrate because I'm the front line. Because anything will go, you know, to me first before I distribute the ball. Because I drop and knock back, I go in the box. But if I they don't have anybody to hold up play, my job is to hold up play to create more players coming forward to support, create space for them to make run and. The last thing we want to do is we want the ball on the side, we come inside, attack and score. So if I being kicked and I start quarreling, arguing, kicking, red card. So being a striker, you must enjoy the right. You know why? All the hard knock, dirty, uh, robust tactics, they do all this. But you got to stay calm. So when I go to let's, let's National Stadium, full house, I like it. You know why? Because this is my time. But I do it quietly. You know, uh, people always ask why people keep you there. I just, I just say focus because I cannot focus with all these tactics because I want to focus how I want to play to help my team. Important is you must believe in what you have. So I'm not worried. So before the game, I know who is my defender. 
what is his strength is. You, we have to study, not just go down and play. But the best part is entertainment because when when you go to the national stadium as a striker or as a player as a team, you want to play good, nice football. But I always tell myself, when these fans go back, they will remember this goal. Most of the goal are all spectacular. I love spectacular, correct? So most goal I score is spectacular because I train to do that. If you see all the goal, it's difficult goal. Not many you can see now. Not many. So no, Fandi, if you can uh, oh. try to describe the feeling of the playing, feeling. you know, with the Kalang roar and the oh. wave. When, when we are out there, we know we're playing with 50 or 60,000 behind us. And sure, our, our opponent is very <laughs> uh, groggy or jittery <laughs> or nervous because once we come in and to start the game, you know how they shouted, how the the what the stamping of the the, the feet on the and the whole uh, erupt, you know the erupt is so loud that you we can't hear. I can't, you know, I shout to the players, ask for the ball. We can only by movement, you know, and uh, body language, eye contact. But shouting is useless because the the fence is so crazy. I can't, that's why it's called. Kalang roar. When the roar is up, <laughs> then you can't say only all those voices. But it was a great one because we rarely have that now the last many years. So that was a fantastic moment. And having said that, they are all together as one. Ch Chinese, Malay, Indian, Eurasian, whatever, you know. And the best part, if you remember those days, like one corner, maybe in the east side, you see, when you, you come to the stadium, when you, you know, hey, how come all so many newspapers? That means people choke the place already. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, I remember, they choke the place, and the same people week in, uh, week in, week out, they are there, yeah. say, this is my place, and this is my team, and my, my group, and they know each other very Those well. Prepare one. Remember, uh, in class, right, you take, I think, newspaper also. Yeah. You take home puncher. Uh. Punch. Confetti, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, those days also they use toilet paper. Remember, uh, gold only toilet paper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, after that, referee yeah. eh, must clear first if they start. Yes. Yeah, what was fun. <laughs> it was interesting. Uh, I think uh, earlier also you can bring the pop on. Uh. Yes. Uh, but, but I, I don't know. I did it bend a bit later, I think. I think yeah, good. that time was good because yeah. that one really the whole stadium will shout that language, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> My always partner, you know, I play a different kind of strikers with me. So, but my best partner is Malik, ah, because he always served me. So I know where he goes, I give the ball, I get in the box. I used to play with Kanan, uh, Malik, yeah. And then I play, used to play with uh, the late Dola Kasim. I used to play with Kim Song. So different Ashak Kamis I played also as a striker partner before. So, I mean, different kind. But Malik is always my buddy, my housemate, my teammate, everything. So we, we work together and then, you know, I asked him to come KL after my first year. Uh, he didn't want to go first. He wanted to work here. After that, he realized, hey, football is good. So he went. Uh, you know, join me. Right, right, right. And yeah. oh, I mean, uh, very few left-footed players in the day. Malik is a right-footer, yeah, but he yeah, play left and yeah, right. Left and right. Yeah. Okay, okay. Malik uh, has the best cross right. for me because he can slide and cross the ball. You see? Yeah. He slide and cross the ball. And all his, uh, what side there? All marks back <laughs> <laughs> because of the yes, sliding. I always and, remember. I always yeah, remember yeah. Like, when he tackle. A bit forward, yeah. Then, yeah. You, do you remember? Uh, against Kedah, he tackled twice and then sent a long ball to Abbas. I scored that diving header. The last, ah, yes, yes, you yes, saw yes, twice yes. from the top of our ball. That was the best counter attack. And I think how many touches he tackled? One, he won. Two tackle, pass. One pass, two pass, third one goal. That was the fastest uh, we scored, I think, in counter attack. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. yes. Maybe last question. Last yeah. Question. You know, we spoke so much about your career and everything. Uh, this is a very deep question. Uh, yeah. yeah. But what do you hope people will remember like, when they when you mention Pandi? Uh, oh. What do you want people, Singaporeans, people to remember? Wow. Many people ask me, I have an answer. Today, maybe you answer. I think uh, uh, most important thing is 
as a player, my team and I, we hope uh, we have moved the, the 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 people in Singapore to become one during days of uh, Singapore football. That means wh what I'm saying is that we managed to bring people together at the stadium just to support the country. And importantly, we are footballers in the 80s and 90s who, have, who brought uh, glory. And not only about football, it's about the people of different races getting together. And they will remember us as a footballer, but for us, importantly, is because how we as a footballer manage to bring Singapore as one. And everybody is in the National Stadium. But when we went to KL, it's like National Stadium in Shah Alam. The whole of Singapore, 50, 60,000 people were there. So, the short word is, we managed to bring people together as one. Like I say, it's always nice to be humble, and that's my word always. And I don't think you will stumble. People remember uh, for you, for your kindness, your empathy, and you know, that, that's life. Uh, it doesn't really bother me, but I think I, I've done quite a bit for the country as well. So I hope we all and myself, we have inspired Singaporeans of that generation. That's the word I want to say. We have inspired people through sports and bring people together as one. So that's the word. Thank you, Fatih. Thank, Thank you. you. This is very special for me because I'm playing for, for my own country.